Hi all, welcome to the session of how to install the Visual Studio 2019 okay, in your system. So that is what we are going to see in this session. And uh, this tool is basically, uh, we are installing this tool basically for uh, learning more about object-oriented design concepts. So we are going to learn more about object-oriented programming, its design, design patterns and everything by using the C hash or the C sharp. Okay. So for that, we are going to use Visual Studio 2019 for C hash. Okay. So for that, we are going to install to know more about, you know, how to install the Visual Studio 2019 in your system. Uh, so basically, when you search like this, okay, when you search like this in your system, you will get this. Okay. So I have basically taken it over here. So if you want to know uh, what's the address the web address where you have you can download this it is basically given here okay so visual studio dot microsoft it's a microsoft product slash vs so this is where i am going to show you how to install so this is one single id where you can actually install everything so you will have this option of download visual studio so in that you will have three different versions okay you have a community version a professional version and enterprise 2019 version so these are the three different versions which you could see so if i show you here okay there are three different versions okay so if you want to compare these editions so basically this is how it looks like so there are three different editions for 2019 so as you could see here community version professional version enterprise version so you have three different versions so these two versions are basically for companies and for high level professionals who are already using and uh, building a lot of web applications using this Visual Studio. Otherwise, for a student or for an academician with a minimal level of work to start with for the beginners, okay, this version will do. So it is completely up to you to go ahead and buy or you could use this community version which is completely free and you will get all the support which they have mentioned to this particular level. So this is what is basically shown here and you have this Visual Studio for Mac also. So if you are a Mac user, so I am going to show the installation of Visual Studio for the Windows users and if you are a Mac user, you have to visit this page. Okay, so there you they have actually given a thorough explanation about how you can install it for the Mac. Okay, so these are the two things which you have to. So if, you, if it is a Visual Studio for Mac, please go here and download the version which is compatible for your machine. Okay, so make sure that this is the video which I am showing is for um, the users uh, who use Windows. Uh, so this is the version so in that I'm going to click on community version so once you click on community version it will take out to this particular window and you will be able to download the visual studio um, version also so you can just I have already installed in it but still I'm just going to show it for you so this will be the exe file that will be installed so you could just open it yeah, you know, it is be always better to open as an administrator with administrator privileges. So how you could do is that you can just right click and run as administrator. So always when you're installing something, make sure that you are going for this option and you can click on yes. So the Windows installer will be opened. So before you get started, okay, you need you can just give continue. So the installer will be downloaded and installed. Now this is the uh, installer area which you will be able to see. As I have already installed, it is actually giving me this particular page. So basically it will look something like this for you. Yeah. So here basically you can select which all, um, you know, so this comes as a suit. So suit means, you know, you have various uh, um, options available for you. You can install multiple things at a go, on the go. Okay. So at a time. So that is what I'm going to. So I have already installed the SQL Server Data Tools and Azure Data Lake and Stream Analysis. So .NET Frameworks, all these things I have already installed. Okay. These are the things which I have already been installed. But 
So what I'm going to tell you is that, so this gives you the complete option of what all things you can install in your system using the Visual Studio. Say, uh, for my uh, course, basically we need uh, ASP.NET because we are going to develop a web application at the end of the day. And we definitely need a dot, .NET desktop application. So we need to do some console applications, window forms and you know the uh, web applications and everything so we definitely require this and more than that I have also installed this data storage and processing this is basically if you have some connectivity to a cloud if you want to do a connectivity to the Azure data lake or something like that later or if you want to connect a SQL server as your backend okay you require this Okay, so these are the three things basically uh, I have selected as of now and if you are really interested in .js, uh, uh, node.js development or something like the JavaScript runtime uh, server or something like that, you can definitely go ahead and pick up whatever you want. So if you are interested in mobile development, go ahead and click on this with the .NET. So if you want mobile development with .NET or if you want the functionality of mobile development with C++ by using the Visual Studio. Okay, you now you're going to work with Unity for game developments. Okay, go ahead with this. So whichever you want, you can select. So it is not, it is actually optional. And one more thing which I want you to tell is that, say, if you click on Azure development, it will show you, okay, what would be the time uh, the space requirement, you know, that is expected out of your system. So only if you have, say, you are going to install this, say, in your C drive. So just go ahead and make sure that in which drive you have enough of space available. Say if I'm selecting this also, it will tell you, uh, you know, it will update the space requirement which you require for these particular tools. Okay. So once you does that, okay, um, everything will get installed and it will show you this particular page. Okay. So initially when you install, so um, all the needed softwares will be installed and uh, you can always go back and modify if you want any more installations uh, available or any other packages which from this particular suit. If you want, need it, you can always go back and uh, update it, modify from this particular page. Otherwise, when you're doing it for the first time, automatically this Visual Studio page will be loaded and shown to you. Okay, so this will be this will be the page which you will get. So you will have this page and this installer page at the background. So this is how your um, installation studio will look like. Okay, say if you want to um, uh, take the installer, what you have to do is you can go to the start. Okay, and um, you can look for the Visual Studio, or you could um, take out where the Visual Studio is and you can pin it onto the start. Okay, if it is not available already, then pin it onto the start button so that whenever you open your start, it will be there in the start button. So when you click on it, this is how your Visual Studio will open. So this is exactly the same page which you have seen earlier. Okay, I'm just closing one now. Okay, and uh, so these are the various things which are available. Uh, you can clone a repository which is already there, uh, which is there in the or if you want to upload something onto the GitHub or from the GitHub you are taking something and you want to run it on the Visual Studio, go ahead and do it with this option. And you have to simply open up an already done project or a solution which is already there in your system, go on with this. Or if you want to navigate to a local folder from this Visual Studio, you can use this. And say, like us, if you are going with to start with a new project, just click on this. Okay, so this is how we start with. Now, um, you know, let me tell you, if you want to um, specifically select, okay, specifically select um, something from this. So what kind of a project do you want to select? That is what basically this window asking for. Um, say if you want to specifically select something, say I want a C hash project and which basically runs in a Windows platform. Okay, you probably get this to app, this two options. So say for example as um, you know for a kickstart we are going to start a console application that you need to always look on for the dotnet core and it is not the dotnet framework so we are going to select the console application see here i'm going to click on the console application okay how did i get this yes i have a option here i can select whichever i want so i selected c hash and my system is basically running on Windows, so I'm selecting that. If it is your Mac OS, you can go ahead with that. 
Okay, so I am selecting on Windows. So I got these two options. In that, I particularly am going to con con come up with a console application in C hash. So I'm clicking on this and I'm going with the next option here, which is there the uh, bottom side of your uh, section. So I'm clicking on that. Uh, now what happens is that, okay, uh, uh, Visual Studio is asking for what should be your name of the project. So it cannot be empty. So I'm going to give the name as Hello World. So that is a traditional thing which we basically use. So the same name will be basically given as your solution name as such. So this is not given by us. This is automatically done. And um, by the default status, what happens is that the whole, all the programs will be stayed in the repos, in the repository named repos. Okay. If you want to specifically select a um, different, uh, say, sometimes I told you, sometimes if you have uh, space issues, you can basically go back and select a drive which has got more space. So that you could do here. Okay. Now, after that, I'm going to click on the next button. So it asks you for a long-term support. Yes, I need a long-term support. So I'm not worried about anything. Say it is um, it is giving you a lot of options. You can just go here and select the code 3.1 and long-term support. Otherwise, if it is already there, then just go ahead, the default option, and then create. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is because I have already created a, a hello world. That's why it is uh, throwing me an error. For you, there will not be any error. So I'm slightly changing the name as hello world one. Okay. And I'm, now I'm going to create. Now it will be fine. So it takes some a few minutes of a uh, few seconds of time and uh, it will be creating the project and it will be opening the hello world one project. So this is the window uh, if you could see. So automatically by default there is a inbuilt program a default program which is already there. So this is a C hash setup or a C sharp setup and this is the setup for the C sharp in visual by using the visual studio. So my program is hello world. Okay. Um, so hello world one basically. And uh, so there is a class for it. And there is a, a function which is called the main function is here. And the main function it is simply printing something which is hello world. Okay. So this is what it is. So this is the program window. And this is a solution explorer. I could see what are the uh, dependencies for my program. Okay. And what are the programs which I have. So I have a main. So the complete the the complete hierarchy of how this program went could also be understood with this particular solution explorer. Okay, so this you could explore it later. Then you have a properties window which shows you the full path and everything. And once say if you're ready, if you're okay with this, you can save here. You can take the projects, open the file from this. So there are various options. We will see to it later. And if you want to run this particular program, Okay, you have two options. One is basically this hello world one. The name of my project is hello world one. Okay, so hello world one is basically here with a green arrow. So that shows you that this program can be run now. Or you could also click F5 in your system. Okay, F5, the button F5 from the keyboard is also okay for uh, execution. Otherwise, you could click hello world. So what happens is that it throws you or it gets you out with a new window okay and the new window uh, it's here so this is the output window where the building happens so the project is built here and debugged here so if you have any errors or something it will be shown here and once everything is correct this is a console application so the output comes in a console so the Microsoft Visual Studio console for C hash will be opened okay and what is basically printing here? Okay, we are asking to print the hello world. So the hello world is basically print here. So this is what uh, you could actually. So this is a console application, the simple console application, which we have seen by using the Visual Studio. And if you want to close it, you can just close it. Okay, say if I am adding another, say, say console. Console, I'm just uh, printing something else. Console dot say right line. So I'm just again right line, doing a right line. I'm going to hi, hi. We are finally here. 
to learn something something new hooray so this is what i want to print so always understand any line in your c hash basically they end so if any error or something comes it basically shows you with a tilde or something like that so you could put the mark so it is gone and if you are updating your code okay something will come in a a bar will come here which is yellow in color say i'm going to save this i can save this by using the save all or this particular button so i'm using the save all then you could see that that yellow bar where when we had when we are updating it okay has become green okay now i'm going to run this again so this time i'm going to click f5 so my program is built and it is giving an output hello world hi we are finally here to learn something new hooray okay so hope you understood this initial setup so, so this is so easy to install so try this by yourself and uh, let us know or let me know if you have any issues while installations um so thank you so much we will see more about this in the next classes thank you